Good morning, good morning, good morning. So as we start the morning confusing you, I know there's some malicious people that have been looking back at all these days ago and been researching all of our EMC vlogs to see where we will be this morning. Well, that I lick you all because it was hours and not days. But good morning to each and every one of you all. Before I start the morning, I obviously have to start. I always say, you know, I, I learned a long time ago in my training and my experience in the theater and stuff that one should always start with the best. So here we go. The best, of course, first. Are we going to end it with the best? Of course, later on. But in between, we'll fill it in with a little bit of this other kind of little bit of scenery and stuff because I can't be with you all day. I don't want to like, take away all the camera time. Although I haven't been on the camera for two days now and I'm really having some withdrawal symptoms, but I have walked around with my mirror quite a bit and looked at myself. So I've kept myself peaceful and happy. Don't want to tell you any more about my last two days yet, but I surely will share that with you later on. I just want to say good morning to you. Greetings from Barbados. Um, as you see, we reversed our countdown this morning to count up. We're doing everything a little bit different, so hopefully you'll enjoy what we have for you this morning. For those who are on for the first time, please do not be misled by the troublesome ones. Um, they are a group of people that give a lot of trouble and get a lot of problems. They're the ones that are going to have to reimburse me and buy me some coffee and cheese and listen to me singing. So if you don't want to join that um, group, please stay away, stay clear from them. I see some of them this morning saying, I'm going to ensure and make sure that I do not get a strike this morning. That is a strikeable offense because you're not being your true self. So I will strike you for that comment. So whoever made that this morning, you're already going in the books. So good morning to each and every one of you. Now, they said we haven't been here for a little while. Uh, I don't think there's anyone on this group that has been in this area recently because I haven't seen any pictures or any notifications from out here. I see no darn singing, but you're too late. If you're in the strike list, you got that coming your way. So anyhow, uh, as I said before, before I was so crudely interrupted, we have not been here for a little while. And I know there is none of our members that are familiar with where we are this morning. So I'm actually going to get up. I was sitting down relaxing and chilling out. Um, I'd like to say our serenity prayer now, of course. That's the way we like to start our day, by praying for peace for ourselves and for everyone else. Um, we pray that anyone in this world um, that has any powers that be will stop all of this fighting and the war and the strife and the, and the hatred and settle yourself down to peace and love and serenity. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, I see somebody said I'll turn the sound off. Let me get back here. Look, you all, I'm not going to read the screen anymore. You all are really interfering with me now. Anyone that's not familiar with how to live by peace and serenity and joy and happiness and love, um, please come and watch the EMC because we will show you how it is done. Okay, so here we go. We're going to enjoy here now and we're going to say our serenity prayer. Those who would like to join me, please do. All others, we'll be back with you in a few moments' time. God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Well, all I can say is that it's a good thing that we love our circles of love. If not, I would have had to say something. A lot of people on here are looking for trouble this morning, but my arm is strong and my sword is mighty, or I should say my pen, which is going to be like a sword this morning because it's going to be sharp on both sides. So let's get going there. Okay, see everybody knows where we are. Uh, I don't know how some of you know where we are because I know many of you have not seen here ever. <laughs> so, well, this is a perfect point here. We're right on the point. Uh, between Freight's Bay and then when you go around to South Point itself is a beautiful beautiful spot I just want to give you a couple of little um, points about this area here when we get a huge south swell I mean a really big true south swell uh, and Freight's is getting it this is the general area that the waves will start to break from where we are and they'll break and go right down into that small little beach well you wouldn't ride that far down because 
the different sections, but right down into the intersection there of Freight's Bay, which we'll be walking through in a few minutes' time. I know some of you may have said that I was missing an action over the last few days because you didn't see any family photos and you didn't see anything else, but I had my full concentration on other projects that I was working on, so I didn't have any time to um, actually do too much, so please forgive me, but I really took the off day per se. Don't mind I was busier than ever trying to compose myself and keep myself um, being a good fellow, which I, I always am, so I had to maintain that. Now coming across here this morning, a little bit slippery, I actually took a back dive off of this cliff this morning, built into the sea, took a, it was an amazing 10 pointer splash, it was no splash literally, it was just an absolute perfect entry, then I swam back onto this area here, and I actually held on by one hand and flipped myself back onto the cliff, I don't know if you all saw that, I'm not too sure, and um, that was before I actually took the gimbal, that was when I had the gimbal on the cliff, and I think I was maybe doing a signal check, I'm sorry I didn't have it on for you, because I know this morning you would have been just blown away by my amazing skills and artistry. Everyone that's on here knows who I am. I am the Bajan Warrior. I am known as the best that ever walked on earth. Um, well, the, I would say second best because I, I have to follow God. So I would say second best has ever walked on earth. So I take a, definitely a silver medal in that one for sure. And um, I bring you to Barbados with our family and friends every morning or four days a week so we can enjoy some peace and serenity. Um, we talk nothing but factual talk. We talk nothing but honesty. We do not swear the truth from the truth. Uh, we do not um, in any way um, exaggerate. I hate people that exaggerate. I do not like that. I do not like liars. So first of all, I will tell you, I am 51 years old. So ignore everyone else on here that says differently. Um, that is the truth. And the exaggeration is that 99.99% of this world love me. There's only one or two people that do not. So they're the other ones that we will not talk about this morning. So this is Freight's Bay. We're looking at it from a little further down the cliff, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. No real swells today, but this is the long borders paradise generally. A lot of people learn to surf here. Conditions are perfect, especially on a long board and stuff, because you know a long board gives you a lot more buoyancy so you get a much better ride. But have a look at this scenery, people. I'm gonna give you a photo up from right here now. Please enjoy this here back through in a couple of seconds. As I forgot to time it, I decided to go a little longer because I know there's some people on here that are so picky and choosy that if I come up at 19 seconds, I will hear a whole set of nonsense later. So any of you that have been timing it, it says, well, he went longer 20 seconds, you'll understand why. So please do not let me hear you be talking about you overdid the 20 seconds or anything along that line. Um, just to let you know that over the last two days, I've had some people sample some cigarettes. I actually have evidence of them spitting it out of their faces. I would like to use the term that Bajans would know, skinning up and looking absolutely disgusted. I, I have the video footage of that that I'll put in my archive that I will bring out if I need to. If I see anyone on here say they taste good, I will bring that out again. Well, no, not, it depends if that person says it tastes good. Um, I will bring it out. Uh, if they've already said it tastes good, well, <laughs> you better send some money to my bank account right now. I'm, I'm not up for bribery, but I just want to let you know that would be the safest thing to do at this stage of the game. All right, looking from here, Freight's Bay. Meet it in the century camera. We work our way along the Enterprise Cliffs end into Miami Beach. Well, it's Enterprise we're seeing, Enterprise of Miami Beach with the Casarina trees. Then we work our way down into Oystonstown. That'll be next set of White Sand. You see the Oystons Jetty. Beyond that, then we go into Welch's Beach and then we go into Maxwell area and work our way right along the coastline. We're seeing right down the coastline now. The furthest point I think we will probably see from here, maybe down somewhere down by Rockley um, or just beyond that, maybe in the area of Hastings itself. Um, that is the first point we will see at this present time. But a beautiful, beautiful day here in Iraq. Absolutely stunning. But that person thought they were trying to deceive me by telling me, oh, these taste good. But the thing is that they did that for the first set of camera. But when I turned the camera off, they then took their second one and I turned it back on without them knowing. And their faces are amazing to watch. They're actually very comical. So I will hold that in evidence. So remember that person will have some coffee and some cheese for me. Because uh, I don't know if you all read it this morning. I know not many people read the preamble. Uh, I know the malicious ones do because they're trying to catch me out, which this morning I put you all through the grinder. But I have turned myself into a vegetarian. So now that you come to Barbados, we shall sit and eat cheese, drink coffee, and be serenaded by the 
best singer of all time. Of course, that is me. We have a lot of nosy people on board, people that want to be included in the nosy list. So what I'll do this morning, I'll say, this first of all is for the king of nosy, and uh, that would be obviously Mr. Reiko, our conductor. And then we will also say to the head troublesome one at the moment, the leader of the conspiracy, uh, we will say, good morning, Janet. I hope you're enjoying this nosy as well. Now you could put an extra slice of cheese down for that one for both of you all people because I've given you all individual recognition this morning. So you don't have to get any strikes, you just need to pay me back, that's all. But beautiful, beautiful grounds up there at Atlantic Shores. Absolutely lovely. I remember when there were no homes out here at all in these two immediate, well, one that we just passed by, yes. This one is new to me, well not new to me, is in Barbados, but new to me is in a long time ago. Here it was all grass and pasture. As you can see, they bought the additional plot. Um, I want to show you two things. We talk about all the time, the poor man's hedge. Uh, this is the security hedge. This is the Bougainvillea. Um, those who ever come around the Bougainvillea, please do not get stuck by it. If you do, um, definitely tend to it quickly because Bougainvillea can actually give you blood poisoning. And on the other side, we have the sweet line hedge, which is just as deadly. So these are two hedges that you can plant and not worry about your security perimeter because you're not coming through these unless you have some kind of chainsaw or unless you're an Olympian like me and can backflip over this kind of hedge and then you'll be fine. Now, as you can hear, all the dogs agree to me. They want to get in on the action. Everybody, all these animals know that I'm the charmer. So when they come into neighborhoods, they usually bark and just want to get in on the film. You know, these are photo bombers. We will give them an opportunity this morning. Ah, uh, I see Mr. Hunt is on this morning. Mr. Hunt, do you remember our 360 spins out here on this lawn again, chased by the neighbors? I do very well. When I come to South Point, I have to remember my original South Point posse uh, crew, whatever terms you want to use it. And those days it's called South Point Gang. Men will remember that very well. This was Dr. St. John's house. This is where we used to assemble almost every day when we used to come up here before we would go surfing or just assemble in this general area on the tree. There are lots and lots of people on here. We have Crystal. I only met Crystal or did not remember Crystal from years ago, but Crystal would have remembered the times I'm talking about all the hunts. The St. John's, uh, you know, there are so, the Fields is, all of them, the Sampsons, all of them, they will all have been here. So they would remember these days. But look at these homes. This is like the sandy lane of the South Coast to me. Person, land anywhere in this area is almost impossible, first of all. And when you uh, can find it, the cost of it is really, really high. Very expensive along this area. Good morning to our head chair leader. Now tomorrow, no, I don't know why her name has made me say this here, but anyhow, whatever prompts me. Um, tomorrow we will be having some special guests that will be joining us for Docile Saturday. And no, I'm not talking about the three most precious people in this world, which would be me, myself, and I. I'm talking about other people who will be joining the three of us on a walk tomorrow. So if you are available and you don't have anything better to do, which is absolutely nothing you could possibly do better than spend the morning with me, Please join us because I would like you all to be along just to enjoy yourselves with us as well. Now, today we're not going to talk too much history. We're just going to talk about old time days, which we pretty much do most of the time. The difference between today and tomorrow is tomorrow is Saturday, but we're pretty much docile. Everybody knows I don't. That's not a problem. That happened as soon as I turned 51, which was in April last year. Sorry, April this year. I almost went too far. I forgot which year I was in. Um, but that happened then. So. I don't know what will happen when I turn to 52. A lot of these properties here are actually um, lived in, but they do have Airbnb options here. So one more time, use Google. Remember, if they, when you're using Google, anything um, says different to what I'm saying, you would know obviously that Google is wrong. You can give me a call. I can give you clarification on it. Nick is always right. Nick never makes mistakes. If Nick makes any mistakes, you are supposed to uh, accept it as being the truth. Full stop. I walk here with sadness in my heart. This is the last window to the sea when you're driving has gone. So, I mean, I, I know it's a beautiful place. I understand people own the land and stuff, but sadly, um, we will no longer drive by here and look out over Freight's Bay along the south coast. So you'll have to get out of your car now to do so, park and walk across one of the paths and have a look at it. It's a beautiful morning. I'll walk for a couple of seconds silently don't really feel like but i want to give you a chance to hear the birds and stuff so here we go
It's beautiful out here, absolutely stunning. Now, over the last couple of days, I have been so busy then. I mean, so busy, I could hardly even breathe. As I tell you, you know, when I dedicate myself, my attention to something, I spend 110% on it. Those of you that do not are not aware of that as yet, you've come on this morning. You couldn't have been on even yesterday because you would know that for sure. But I have uh, actually had a, a, an amazing two days off. I didn't even want to start vlogging this morning. But I said, you know what? If I don't vlog, there 99.99% of the entire universe is going to be missing me and having a bad time. But I told you all nothing, but I have a special guest for you this morning. Um, we've always talked about him. This is one of the main Barbados ambassadors, my brother, Ted. Ted, good morning, my brother. Good morning, Nick, my doing, brother. Man? How are you doing? I'm, I'm absolutely wonderful, man. It's great to see you. Thanks for coming out and talking to your family and stuff, man. Well, you know that I can't miss you when you go by my neighborhood. Yeah. A couple of times I heard you and I couldn't get out in time, but when you gave me a little alert that you'd be in my neighborhood, I had to come and see you, my brother. Awesome. I was a little fearful because I know there's one person that talks more junk and more, more talk than me, and that is you, so I thought I'd let you stay on here and rob my show today no, because sir. I am no, the sir. star of this show. You are indeed you Thanks, always man. were my brother lovely right, to right, see right. you i keep yeah, in out of trouble man Thanks. just waiting for the season and right. hoping to welcome a lot well new friendly faces a little bit to everyone because some people may not recognize you i know i know that you're internationally known like me but, yes sir um, yeah, yes course. sir old age has its perks what old age? What are you talking about? <laughs> i only tease you brother old, not me not me man we get we get historic 51 remember it's 51 <laughs> right so i stopped grow, i stopped aging at 12. Oh, wow that's <laughs> interesting i'm still a child to be in mind but not body <laughs> body one doesn't really cooperate well you and i grew up together having some wonderful times awesome. and showing so, so many beautiful people don't this island please no or your age sorry i introduce yourself my yeah ted blaze from ted's tours a barefoot tour guide i've been at it 39 years now august just gone so my wife won't let me retire i have hinted but I do love it dearly right. and I uh, hope to be welcoming a lot more people to the beautiful shores of Barbados this winter. Right. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Nick Rose. He's a gentleman that is a wonderful lad, full of heart. We need people with heart in the industry like yourself and myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just want to mention Nick this morning as well because he's trying to come back into the industry and I have encouraged him. Yeah. And uh, I, I always love to see what you're doing, showing people who are overseas and may not be able to get here. They're still connected to the island, which is so imperative to the future of mm -hmm. Barbados. Absolutely. So keep doing what you do because we awesome. can't do without you. Yep. And I'll be here to do what I can do on my side of things Man, as well. Thanks so much. Nick, Nick is an amazing guy, of course. Before you go any further, hearing the name, Nick, you know he's amazing. Well, that's a great Obviously. start. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, got... yeah, but Nick, I also grew up with Nick. And yeah. Nick is very similar to us, same sense of humor. Um, man of heart yeah man of heart and also puts his heart and soul in everything he does when it comes to barbados and you know this place beautiful island you know yes sir. all right so i'm going to continue my vlog and i'm going to pass, pass back and pay you for all these compliments there <laughs> you're a good man <laughs> I know, it's man. all online now in our days it was cash in hand now it's all online i'll Absolutely. give you my account now all right so today <laughs> <laughs> so there you are, our movie star at the moment. So, <laughs> so you have funny. a wonderful day, man. Thanks, Count Dot. That's my fine. Pleasure. I really do appreciate this. I, I love you, you too, We go back a long way. Our, our blood sort of runs the same way. It eh? does, my brother. Thanks, my brother. Love you. It, right? You take, take care. Man. Keep take care, safe. Cool. Okay, bye thanks, bye, man. All right, so you had the opportunity to meet Ted that I talk about all the time in the past here. Um, you know, this man is so confident that his of his ability to show this island and showcase this island that he tells you that you pay him after the tour. And if you're not satisfied with the tour, um, you know, you don't have to pay him. But if you look at Ted, you will notice that he's a ruffian like me. So if you mess with Ted and don't pay him, you might have to suffer some consequences. So if you go on tour with him, do just like you do every morning with me. I love your vlogs, Nick. Tell Ted you love his island tour. That is my recommended advice for you this morning. So <laughs> I only brought you for this little section here. First of all, to escape Ted before he carried away my show this morning. And second, to show you the dunk tree again. We talked about this. They're only um, blossoming right now. These usually come into season around December, Christmas time. Um, so you will have uh, an opportunity, if you're down here at that time, to taste these. If you're not, I will eat one of these here for you happily as soon as they're ready. I'll show you how delicious they are. As you all know already, I'm trained and actually qualified and certified and recognized as a facial expressionist expert. So I will be showing you that um, as we go along bit by bit. But again, another entrance, this was the original entrance or where we used to pile one of these steps that we used to go down and kick off into freight originally. When it's really big, um, you kick off from here and then work your way out. I hope you enjoyed that little session with Ted because I had a ball. Ted and myself go back so many years. Ted, by the way, if you are not familiar with the other side of his family, they own the Coconut Court Hotel. Um, so you would know where Ted operates his base from. However, he picks you up from anywhere in the island as well. But hold on a second though. I gotta show you beauty again because 
<laughs> I'm not letting Ted steal my show, not this morning, absolutely no way. I am much better knowledge than that. So I'm gonna let you share your time with me for a little bit. We're gonna walk over here and let you enjoy this beautiful scenery for a few minutes. Um, no, I am not, I see things there. Can you leave it on this, please? Don't take off of this view. Uh, what was that one? The most beautiful thing I've seen for the morning. Okay, well, I, I understand you're watching me now for sure. I thought we had a like on the comments, but I realized that they're right on time. So that couldn't be been referring to anything else but me, of course. But now we reach the back of the main road. We shall turn again. I was telling someone over there the last few days that I cannot believe that I can come on here and give all of this incredible history and wisdom about this island and keep commentary so serious and I just see a lot of laughter and a lot of people just dissing me. Anyway, it's not a problem because I have a very thick skin so I, I can take it. It's not a problem. Let's get back onto this neighborhood. I'm going to give you a little bit more show off. I don't want to say show off. Whoever that is, you're going to take a detention. We're going to sit down for an hour and let me explain to you a different scene. Show off on camera time. So here we go. What's up, brother? You good? All right. Hi, excellent, man. Have a good ride. Look at these homes left and right. Absolutely beautiful homes. I'm going to give you all a little more elevation. And as you know, when I elevate, I project my voice so you can hear me clearly. You will see and understand clearly why I talk about Sandy Lane out here. Relating back to sand. Look at this rainbow over this building. Can't see all of it, but you can see some of it there shaping up. So once again, we're being blessed with a rainbow for the EMC gathering. Morning. I see somebody putting in some golf clubs and stuff in the back of their car here. If I had the time today, we'll probably go and coach him, you know, because as you all would know, of course, I am a, a gold medalist in, in golf. Um, actually, a gold medalist in everything. So whatever comes to your mind this morning, as in anything where it requires highly skilled technique with amazing, um, you know, athlete skills that I have a gold medal in. So you would know that already. Anybody that's been here for a long time, they know that. But any of you new members, please remember that wherever you go in Barbados, if you are find yourself lost anywhere you can ask anyone where is the Olympian the Beijing warrior and uh, they will direct you so don't worry about it so they said we have a special day coming tomorrow special because it's Docile Saturday special because we're having some additional guests which I'm looking forward to um, to meeting with them and walking with them as well obviously um, they're gonna be full of jokes and making a lot of mock sport uh, and, and having their own fun but I will keep it serious as I always do I will keep informing you with just facts and figures on Barbados are unquestionable there because I'm obviously accurate. I'm perfectionist as well. Um, I won't say I'm perfect, but you know me already. I like my fractions and my percentages. I am 99.99% perfect. <laughs> Brother, you good? Yes. I'm watching some people walking by when I make these comments. Look at the rainbow. You all can look at that when I talk and look at the road. Um, I, I love that, you know, because when I say things about 99.98% perfect, did you not hear that fella say yes, man? He wasn't acknowledging my good morning. He was acknowledging the 99.99% of a perfectionist like me. Just lovely. So today we're not going to go down in Cotton Bay because we want to go a little bit further. We have maybe some other stuff coming up. We will see how that goes. Um, you'll see in a few minutes. Well, we're not actually going to descend the steps, but I will surely give you an, um, information on it. Of course, because I want you to know everything about Barbados and I want you to know the true facts. If you pass by here with Ted or anyone else and Ted tells you anything different, just look at him and smile, please, because you would know, of course, I am always 100% correct. Good morning to Nick Rose. Nick, another person that has the same blood running through his veins as me. All he wants to do is bring you the best of Barbados, um, you know, generate uh, interest into Barbados and talk to you about history and stuff. These are guys that come from the same era of me 51 years ago, and we do our own things. All right, so these steps lead down. Um, this is a project. Here we go. I'll give you some information. And I'm not reading this morning because I might go and call something wrong as I usually do. 
And I see people out here just waiting on me, so I'm going to make sure and keep it that you will read it and you will make any mistakes. Um, if you want to see who made this possible, all of them are named here, and beautiful plaques are done by Earthwork Products going down. Um, who actually started it, who makes it possible, who actually maintains it, etc. All, all the people that are involved here and financed here um, would be there and recognize, which I think is wonderful. A beautiful, beautiful setting without a doubt. Absolutely stunning. Now driving by here, you will say, wait, but why did the plant in front of here? You can't see. Well, these trees are obviously very young. When these grow up, you'll be looking directly through them and under them. But if you want some shading and stuff to watch you guys surf, you can come and sit on the trees here. If you are unable to make steps, well, these benches are being put here for you. There's a good lay-by as well. When you surf's up though, very difficult to get a park here. Um, so you may need to park on one of the roads nearby or something. But you can come up here and sit down and you can feel all of the excitement and the relaxation and the harnessing of watch the harnessing of the power of the surf um, just an amazing amazing morning out here i see someone else coming this direction that i've been uh, trying to get this morning to speak to you all so we i see him coming right now he's just returned from a surf trip but he's come back to paradise he went for a surf trip but has returned to paradise so here we go coming up to him right now good morning my brother mr garrett how are you going my eyes, you got your coffee in hand. I got breakfast too, like any good athlete. <laughs> you got me at a good disadvantage. How are you going, my brother? Oh, it's all right. What are you up yeah, to this I'm morning? I'm wonderful, man. We're just showing the world, the beautiful Barbados. I want you to introduce your um, surfing lessons and stuff to everyone. Oh, I was coming having a look at the, yeah. at the what's left back. How's that surf look? You were here before me. Mm, nah, it's, it's, it's nothing. Well, longboarding, it, it would be okay. I think you would get it right. Whoa. But not after what you have just been surfing Whoa, on your surfing adventure. Goodly. Yeah. I think we'll be in the car today driving in a drill hall with everybody. Nice, man. So where did you come where did you come from? Um just recently. Just oh me. what did I me and a mate just nipped off and went over to El Salvador. Yeah, I saw some big big surf up there, man. Uh yeah, it coincided perfectly with the big surf that we had here. Right, right. <laughs> True, I know, but you can't be in two places. We turned our back on this and went over there. Oh yeah. So tell everyone bad. a little bit we were surf school. Okay, I'm gonna pass it up. Oh literally we walk and do it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. course. Alright, so we can do a little walk here. Um with Jay. A little fresh brew. I don't know if you want one. No, man. If I start for coffee, no, I wouldn't start back up. And then I have close to, I think, 100 people this morning that would object it. So oh. they wouldn't like that too much, you know. Oh, so this is what we're running with here now. You see all of our family on. Oh, uh, nice right now one. we have 58 streaming live. Um, Morning, guys. Yeah, they're not seeing you right at this moment because we have turned the other way, but one minute. Okay, but, uh, all right. Is that a more back? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going down to. You want to introduce your shop by oh, name? Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm. We're Ride the Tide Surf School, we're just over here on the right, mm -hmm. uh, adjacent to Freight's Bay. Right. And we're a surf school, so we do lots of surf lessons, and we do, of course, lots of surfboard hire, surf equipment hire. Sadly, no paddle boards. We're not the specialists in that. Right. And the bay isn't always conducive to the best paddle boarding experience, so we're strictly the surfers guy, surfing okay. guys. Okay. When there's waves. And when you there's take waves. Thoughts from the very beginning of the actual. Oh, definitely. Action. New, brand new surfers, surfers that have never done any are our absolute favourite. They've got no bad habits. Not that people, <laughs> <laughs> not that people that have done some in the past have any bad habits. Right. But of course, it's just trying to find those little bits and trying to include bits that can make them a little better. Nice. I'm, I'm a big believer in it. It's not about our way or the highway. It's all about what do you know and can we work with that and can right. we improve? I don't believe awesome. in making people unlearn anything. Perfect. Um, I mean, I'm. A, I love to say I'm a surf guru, but I'm but merely. Well, you are a surf guru, surf. so I, I can say that for you. But merely but, an average. So yeah, the, this is us, and as you can see, we have the oldest, most battered signs up, but they will be changing. And okay. if you look back at the yard, you'll see that I'm in hardware mode again, just final fixing, polish, and paint of everything. So we're ready for winter season as it comes around. When do you reckon that'll start? Man, you're not as good as me, man. I'm not going to let you pull my foot uh, out here this morning. But we've had a, a strange season this year, so I wouldn't be surprised we get a really good winter this year, hopefully. You know? um, I think it's, yeah, it'll be nice. I mean, yeah. I think uh, the world says it's probably going to be a little bit later than usual, huh? Right. As it has been with the hurricane season as well, basically. Yeah, and yeah. storms still coming. We've got yeah. another month or so of that. So, yeah. all right. So, um, do you I actually a have a surf shop here as well, in um, or it's just we do, an outlet? We do keep a few core products, right. um, the essentials, fins, leashes, wax, rash guards, okay. and so on. But we're not a retailer. Right. Um, we've got lots of our own gear. Right. Um, I've got a couple of new pieces for the winter. 
Okay. But mostly it is surf lessons and surf high. We're small awesome. little tiny team. We've got some lads that help out. They're absolutely wicked. And of course, we always take people out in those small teams. Absolute maximum is four surfers per surf. Per Amazing. Shirt. There's lots of contacts and lots of room for high fives. Hell yes. And a splish splash in the ocean. Awesome. I guess the biggest thing that's happened, this uh, biggest change is, well, we might have a move pending. Mm -hmm. But we did have a new addition. I don't know if you saw on Instagram, a new cat turned up. Oh no, not yet. No, yeah, we've got a new kitty turned up. No awesome. one wanted her. She's got it. She's a pirate. She's only got one eye. Oh, that's beautiful. And she's though. adorable. She's Rest absolutely in. shredding the house right now. Awesome. She's probably ripping the brand new couch <laughs> to pieces as we speak. Awesome, for sure. So it's good, mate. It's good. Man, thanks but, um, for coming out, though. We're going to um, do a little more strolling here now. Um, yes, yeah, sorry, mate. Just no, no, no. I just want to really just, um, you know, we stopped with Ted for a little while, spent a little time with Ted. You know, we're just bringing everyone that is in the area that offers amazing services and letting people know about you because oh, there are a lot thanks, of people man. here on here want to surf. I mean, no one on here is an Olympian surfer like me. So <laughs> go along with it, go along with it. Dude, I think we should have a dress rehearsal on this one. Your expression did not did not sell my Olympic part. <laughs> no, I just, I just don't follow, so yeah, I, was yeah. like, I was amazed. I'm an Olympian at everything, man. I have gold medals at everything that you can imagine. Man, I'm coming over to coffee for your house, yeah. mate. All right, well. No, that was Anyhow, my brother. Thank you very much. I'm going to come back for that coffee one these mornings, though, so don't be surprised if you hear Kermi knocking and coming. Mate, you should have been here right now. I found yeah. some of those Waitrose milk chocolate biscuits that are going down oh, as well. we speak. Mate. Well, and I, so. I just yesterday turned uh, vegetarian so I could eat chocolate again. Yeah, Neil, you, know, you have a great day. Vegetarian? Yeah, man, you have a great day. Yeah, right, I'm not that Olympian yet. Yeah, okay, you take care, man. All right, have a good day. All right, so as you see, we are trying to include everyone that we can, um, you know, along the route and stuff. Um, Jay has just come back from an amazing surfing trip. I don't know if you have checked his website or anything, but if you have a look at his website, you see what he does. Um, as he said, he has specialized lessons and stuff, and he only carries out like four people per instructor, which makes it a really good operation and stuff. So he's another one of the options in the island. Um, yes, he and Russell um, are two that we have been by soon. Uh, we, sorry, we made recently. Hold on a minute, though. I go on the other side rope. I don't want you all to see him. I didn't bring what he planned to bring for him this morning. So, yeah, I have to bring you over this side here for sure. Well, these interviews took a little longer. And as you saw, I had a rush away from Jay. Because Jay, again, just like Ted, wants to steal my show. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to write out rules and regulations for all these people that I'm going to be interviewing. Don't talk a lot. Make a smile whenever I make a gesture that I'm the best person in the world. Um, be kind and always praise me. Don't praise your business. Don't praise what you do. Praise me. I'm bringing you all into this here so you can hear other people say how amazing I am. Today was supposed to be a land and sea, but we're not doing the sea part today because we spent it more with some other people in Barbados that want to promote this island and bring as much publicity and positive energy from this island to you. Um, yes, I'm getting away from him. Switch Mary, no need to use your system this morning. I got him covered. Everything is under control. All right, so Brother Malcolm, you know, every time I pass here, I like to show you where you used to live, where I used to come by all the time. So this is where the hunts live, it's just up inside of here, on the right-hand side. We don't like to disclose where anybody lives, so I'm going to keep that discreet. I'm not going to tell you it's Malcolm Hunt, Malcolm Hunt, Malcolm Hunt. <laughs> Lots of work here has been going on, Mr. Conductor. I know that when he passed here before, no, hold on a minute. The nosy people, let's put it that way. I know when they pass here, look at this, look, sparrow and blackbird, beautiful. When we passed here last time, they were under construction. They're pretty much finished now. It's looking beautiful, but some other construction is going on just below you guys. That's new. Um, I'll show you that in a couple of seconds as we're going. Uh, it was not really a window to you see recently, could have had up a, a picket fence for a while, but another window has pretty much disappeared again or will be disappearing very, very soon. If you want to get down to the beach at Freights Bay, you just want to come for a swim or something, this is the area to go down. I was going to walk up here this morning and show you it, um, but the signal really gets bad down in there. And as you know, I'm trying to make sure this one makes up onto YouTube. And like the ones we last, oh, let's get out of the way. Hold on a second. Give me a minute. Let me elevate. Here we go. So you will see that one of the windows again is going. Originally, this property was purchased for the people that are in Palisades on the other side of the road so that they would have a beachfront property. There's really no beach here, but it's a cliffront property. And they'd be able to sit over here in their changing room and stuff and relax and enjoy themselves. But as you can see, it looks as though they're going to be building a, another section of condos on this side over here. You can see the actual 
construction sections. Now everybody knows that I am an, an engineering guru. So I can tell you exactly what's going to happen here for the amount of steel and stuff. This will only be two stories high. <laughs> and that would be obviously wishful thinking. I'm not too sure how high that will go, but based on the um, condos on the other side, hopefully it will stay only within that range and not go ridiculously high. Um, we already know that I do not like high buildings. I think that, that is, Barbados is going to lose its feeling if we continue to commercialize everywhere. Um, I know this, this is, see, the beauty of what we do is we show you Barbados as it is and we are able to express our own opinion. Well, I am. You all can stay there and type it up. And if you make a comment and express your opinion that I do not like, I will hide that comment from everyone else. But for me, I am allowed to speak um, to my heart's feelings. And my heart's feelings are is that we have to be careful. We don't want to be offering Miami or anywhere else in this world to people at 13.4 degrees, 59.9 degrees. We want Barbados to remain like a tropical island and have that impression. So we don't want to over commercialize or go too high with skyscrapers or anything else. All right, photo op, official photo op number two. I see a lot of laughing emojis going up here. I, I'm trying to carry on a serious commentary here and obviously there's someone in here making a lot of mock sport that people are laughing at. I know for sure it could not be me. That's impossible. Another set of condos are going up on the other side of the road. I am hoping that we don't have the same um, action here on this section as we had by uh, Beta by Akron, um, which is down by the Miami beach itself. Um, because I, I would hate to think that this side over here will become a part of those condos um, in other words a section that's restricted from everyone walking on it because look at this here is this not just stunning i mean literally stunning good morning to our yoga queen i do not like to call names patricia brown so i'm not going to call her name this morning um, but if i don't see you out here i'm going to be asking you what is going on why are you not keeping fit like me everyone knows you're supposed to keep fit it helps you in life that is why i'm so finely trained i look like an athlete because i believe in keeping fit all the time you will notice I don't have an ounce of fat around my mouth. That's because I work my mouth a lot. Uh, yes, my tongue is extremely fast, as you can hear, because it is super fit. So I'm able to use that comfortably as well. Now remember, when you're walking these cliffs, you know already, stay away from the edge. I have learnt, especially recently in my travels, that the edge can be very, very tricky. and can sneak up on you, and before you know it, upside it down don't know what to do head is in a spin don't know where to go so you all be careful just be wary of what you're doing please so these are the condos that are being built here don't think they're going any higher i hope not anyhow but um these are actually you know it's an area where it wasn't me with laser at all and i think this is pretty nice how it's done uh oh incidentally i know that no one's looking at the condos the condos are behind that ultimately clean sparkling machine which is known as the war wagon. So just look beyond that for now. You can come back and look at the war wagon. I look at it all the time myself, but you can look at the condos for a minute. Beautiful. We're gonna end our tour in this general area this morning. Um, I have had given you so much information that is of um, importance and relevant to everything that I think that you all have had enough for today. Don't want to overload your brain. I know a lot of you are not like, uh, like me who are certified again in brilliance. Um, but so I just want to take it easy with you beautiful cliffs of enterprise now our stroll was supposed to have ended on that beach with a swim this morning I was hoping to catch up with our Miami Beach Queen who is down there probably strutting all around getting herself fit to walk with me because uh, you know I have asked her to come and walk with me but she's declined because she's not fit enough to walk with me and she knows that and uh, if she tells you all differently to that believe me I am the person that tells the truth so if she comes on and says well he's so unfit I, I have asked him to come and walk with me and he won't come and walk with me. That is not true. Um, you have to believe, Nick. As I told you already, we only tell the truth when we are broadcasting. We do not exaggerate. We do not waver from the truth. Beautiful cruise ship coming in. It looks like something, I don't know, Silver Seas, something to do with Silver Seas. Brother Malcolm, help me out there, my brother. I know you're the man that always comes on and lets me know. 
This is what you will start to see now going through into October, November, December. A couple of them coming down the south coast, not too often, but you will find them especially repositioning cruises coming on this side. You will notice the pockets of sand that we've talked about before. We're at low tide now, so we can actually see it. So all along here, there are little pockets of beach. Not, not all year long, but at this time they are. They have built a little bit. Um, there are, are a set of steps that go down just here by those bushes over there. All types of bushes, uh, no trees. Um, or if you like, you can get on one of your scientifically, meticulously created floating devices and work your way along the cliffs and hop into some little beaches up behind these rocks. It's absolutely quite beautiful. It doesn't, the beauty doesn't stop me looking at the cliff. There are hidden treasures all along this cliff area here. So if you take a little swim along here, you can probably find your little beach just to sit on for a few minutes and find your piece of serenity. Beautiful, beautiful Barbados. I, I don't have to sell you Barbados because Barbados sells itself. And you know, all I can do is come on here and show you this beauty. It's stunning. It's amazing. For those of you who've never been here before, I don't know what you're waiting for. For those of you that are coming back, hurry on back to our shores and enjoy some of this beauty with me. I cannot take all of this by myself. To each and every one of you, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, I always like to, well, when I remember, because I told you my brain is so full of everything else of, of importance and history and stuff, but sometimes I forget things. So. Um, just to let you know that all of you that are on here, um, we have some special people that come on every morning and they're, they're I'm going to mention some by name, but our names or categories, but there are definitely many, many more that come on and make this morning what it is because all I do is show you beauty and talk amazing, interesting things and then they create the environment that goes on. So thank you this morning to our crew, which starts off with our crazy driver who is a part of the care team, our Munch Kings and our Hall of Famers and our new category, the Troublesome Ones who are ridiculously troublesome. Do not get misled by them. Trust me, you will get led to the edge and you will get thrown off. So you be careful. You'll have a great day. Love you all. I'm sending our greetings and our love from Barbados to you. And I hope that you've felt this morning's peace and serenity. I hope you've enjoyed hearing Ted and you know Jay this morning. Um, I hope they didn't steal the show from me. If I notice any comments in here about that, trust me, you go in there with strikes this morning. You will be entered into that list. Have a great day. I'm going to turn you around now. Let you see the beauty again. I would say second-hand beauty. Like South Coast is the best. West Coast is second best. I am the best. This view is going to be the second best. Have a great day, everyone. Love you all. I'm going to leave you with 20 seconds of silence to enjoy this stunning, stunning coastline. Enterprise, Christchurch, Barbados, of course. See you all later.